Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, RockAuto.com, and State Farm. Yes, it is street legal, and yes, you do want one. It's called the Monkey. And along with the Super Cub, it's part of a one-two punch of nostalgia from Honda. It's hard not to get emotional when you see this 2019 Honda Monkey. After all, chances are good your first exposure to motorcycling was a Honda Mini Trail that was used to terrorize your neighborhood. Yes, it was Honda that brought backyard motorcycling to the masses with the Z50. What we have here is not an exact copy, but the fun and friendly spirit of it lives on in the monkey. And thankfully, it's not a copy, as while 125 cc's is not a lot these days, it beats the Mini Trail's 50. Still just a single cylinder, of course. There's an additional gear in the transmission as well, now four speeds. And with nostalgia seeking adults, the intended buyers, not kids, it's bigger as well. I wouldn't say it's perfect for my six foot frame as I do tend to feel like the monkey here, but it works better than I thought it would. Top speed is around 60 miles per hour, so you'd be wise to avoid the interstates, but it has no problem keeping up with traffic on two lane byways and city streets. While we usually save pricing information for the grand finale, it'd be prudent to mention it here only to say that you can't expect much in the way of a sophisticated suspension for a bike that costs $4,000. And indeed, if there's a minor bump in the road, chances are it'll soak it up. Anything more, you're on your own. Keep your eyes on the road and plan accordingly. There is a nice digital gauge display with speedometer and fuel gauge and LED lighting to reinforce the fact that this monkey is inspired by the Z50 not a rebirth of it. But much like the original Mini Trail, the Honda Monkey is the perfect gateway drug to quickly get you addicted to the thrills and freedom that motorcycling provides. The only problem I had, fighting the urge to cut through everyone's backyard on the way home from work every day. Now your chances of actually meeting one of those nice people on a Honda is much better with this Super Cub 125. It is also inspired by but not a direct copy of the Super Cub or CA100 that took California by storm in the 60s, while also showing up in Life magazine and even Beach Boy songs. While it disappeared from our market in the mid 70s, some version of the Super Cub has been sold in other parts of the world ever since. Now, it returns here as the C125, featuring the same 125cc single cylinder engine as the Monkey. Even more modern than the Monkey, here you get keyless ignition and a trick clutchless manual four-speed transmission. It feels much different to ride too, thanks to its 17-inch wheels and skinny 90 series tires. And price? It's even cheaper than the Monkey, starting at just $3,599. All told, these are two tiny Hondas that have big appeal, whether you're old enough to remember the originals or not.